Hey guys, so today I will making chickpeas flour fufu. So this is chickpeas for some of us that doesn't know what it look like. Okay, this is it. It's very very diabetic friendly, guys. I've often used this, you know, for some of us that are not aware that I'm a diabetic patient. So this is the flour, guys. This is chickpea flour. Observe that anytime I eat it. It doesn't get my mouth dried up and uh, I don't eat, drink a lot of water. So, first you start by mixing it in cold water, guys. Make sure you mix it in cold water, otherwise it will get lumps. Yeah, so, I mix it thoroughly in cold water. Mix it into a very smooth paste, guys. Mm. So, chickpeas chick is very, very good if you know you are... You have this diabetics issue i'm talking from my own experience so this is exactly chickpeas uh, you know uh, seed this is how it looks like so after mixing it properly because i observe that each time i i mix it with cold that is very very good so this is my binder guys i am using cassava flour as the binder mm, you can use anything uh, multiple post flour you can use gari you can use um, um you can use any binder. Anything that works for you as a binder. Yeah, I use cassava flour multiples in my binders. So, I don't just stress for binders. It works wonderfully well and it doesn't raise my sugar index. Yeah. So, this is chickpeas. I cook it sometimes in form of beans, you know. I can make it chickpeas porridge. And observe that each time I eat this chickpeas um, uh, sort of thing, it doesn't raise my sugar level i don't drink much water my mouth doesn't get dried in fact i feel very very okay so this is it you can make it in form of flow fufu you can cook it in form of um, just the way it is like form of beans and uh, that is it so right now um i'll be setting it on the heat and that is it you can see it started forming the the dough yeah. So when it begin to form the dough, then I add the cassava flour as the binder. Add amount that works for you. You can make it 10 over 90. You can make 50 50. You can just add little like the way I did here. My only aim, essence of adding cassava flour here is to make the chickpeas very, very amalable. You know, easy for me to mold and swallow. So now I'm adding little water to cook it properly. Then, so I cover it allow it to cook and that is it guys look at the cheap chick flour fufu very very good if you're a diabetic patient guy thank you for watching this video bye bye see you soon